Now, timing in the golf swing. We reckon that your backswing should be three to one timing for your downswing. Okay, so let me explain. What that means is the swinging of the club up to the top of the backswing should take three times as long as the coming down. Now, you only need to watch the driving range golfers occasionally to see that there's not that relationship with everyone. Sometimes there's not really much of a difference between the speed they go up and the speed they come down. Now, a couple of analogies I like to draw is with the backswing, it's a bit like winding up an old style alarm clock. You're coiling the spring, you're tightening it up, and then when it gets to the top, it goes bonkers. It's also very similar to driving a, a car up to a set of red lights where there's a line of traffic. If you go fast, you're going to have to stop. If I'm mistaken, then forgive me, but my belief is that if this object is swinging one way, stopping and then coming down again, it's going to momentarily stop there. So I would suggest your best bet is just glide daintily up to the top of the backswing and save all your energy up for the bit that matters, the downswing.